I am trying to get ready in time to make it for my heating tube change. My name's Olivia. I was born with a rare genetic condition. My suffering does not define With every me. battle I face, I am made stronger through faith. I am free! Yeah! Hola, buenos dias. Um, estoy no muy bien. Estoy enfermo. I'm sick. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell from my voice. Um, I can hear it, but that may be just me hearing my voice. My voice? Gosh, I can't speak. Apparently I can speak in Spanish today, but not English. I'm exhausted. I'm sick. You can't really tell on camera. Bags under my eyes. <sighs> I work today, but... Um, now I spiked a fever, so I'm not working tomorrow. I started to spike one when I went to my hematology appointment, and I did not know that I was actually getting sick. I didn't know if it, I still don't know if it's like a mast cell flare or if I'm getting sick, sick. But my fever's just at 100 right now, and when I went to my hematology appointment today, he wanted to see me in person. So, um, yeah, did that, and when I arrived, my temperature was like 99, and they were almost not going to see me, but, um, they just let me in, and I was a little nervous because, um, hematology is also oncology, um, I don't know if it's like that everywhere, but here it is. And so there's a lot of cancer patients and people that are immunocompromised like me. Um, I wore my mask and I didn't really touch anything. I just sat in a seat and didn't touch anything. So um, I was super careful. But, oh gosh, I'm like falling asleep while talking to you guys. Okay, anyways, I might need another blood transfusion. So, we have to check labs again soon um, to see, because right now I'm kind of like at the tipping point to where, um, well, they would have given me IV iron a long time ago, but my neurologist doesn't approve of it because um, it's dangerous um, for, like it causes autonomic changes like all the stuff that does things for you automatically that part of my brain that part of my brain is um dysfunctional so um when i get iron infusions it just makes it like go into overdrive like that and then it starts messing with other things and i get go into status epileptic Epilep I forget what it's called, but it's pretty much like non-stop seizures, so I can't get IV iron and um, I'm at the tipping point of where like I can't really get a blood transfusion because it could possibly un be unsafe um, And then also if it drops like even just a point or half a point then uh, I need a blood transfusion so I'm kind of like in that risky stage uh, which I hate because I don't want to like suddenly have to go in and I also have my feeding tube change on Wednesday and yeah I want that to go smoothly because I'm getting another button and I've been waiting for the second button for a long time because I've had my dangly tube anyways um I think that's about all I had to tell you guys. I have to take a midterm and an exam this week for my classes. So, yep, lots of studying, lots of Spanish and biology. And that's fine with me. As of right now, I'm enjoying school more than I am work because I just don't feel good. Which is why I'm most likely not working tomorrow, depending on if I'm running a fever and how I'm feeling and everything. But yeah, that's all I have to tell you guys and update you guys on right now.
Okay, I forgot to tell you guys one other thing. Oh, this tea is so good. It's sleepy time sinus tea. And it's really making me sleepy. Anyways, I forgot to tell you guys one more thing. And that is, um... So, my mom did one of those ancestry kits. I don't know if you guys have heard about them. But it's where you spit in a tube to get your DNA. Um, and you send it off. There's, like, different types of kits that you can get. Um... The other one checks for things that you are most likely to have, so like your traits and things like that. And then, um, well, I almost spilled my tea. <coughs> um, there's, there's some other one. I can't remember. Anyway, she just got the most basic one because that's all we really wanted to see or she wanted to see she got it for her Christmas present but like everyone was excited to see it because obviously it's my mom's DNA so it's my DNA as well and um she we we thought that my mom and me and my siblings were all just Korean I'm part Japanese. <laughs> I don't know if you guys even knew that I'm Korean. But yeah, I'm Korean. Um, that's like the number one thing. And then I'm part Japanese. So crazy. I never even guessed that I'm part Japanese. It's so weird to me. It's so cool. But... Um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought that would be really cool to share with you guys. Anyways, now I'm going to bed before I lose my voice. Good night. Good morning, guys. I know I look pretty terrible, but I at least sound a lot better than yesterday. You guys wouldn't know because I didn't vlog at all yesterday um, because it was kind of pointless. My voice was totally gone, but... Um, I am trying to get ready in time to make it for my heating tube change. Um, I should be getting a button today. I don't know why that would change, so um, hopefully nothing does. I never even thought about that until just now. But anyways, yeah, I'm going in to get my feeding tube changed, get a button, and um, I have to wash up and run to the pharmacy to pick up some meds before so this should be fun because I only have two hours to do everything which for me does not feel like a lot of time but I'm going to try my hardest and we'll see how it goes okay so sorry guys that I did not vlog before going under like directly before um before going under they never used anesthesia like no sort of sedation this time um because we wanted to reduce the risk of like any complications happening um there was no contrast used this time either to prevent like anaphylaxis or anything but um it's done and also they were able to do um I didn't know they ordered an AMT, so that's what I have now. It's not a Mickey, it is an AMT like I wanted. But, um, yeah, everything went smoothly. Um, now I have to hook up to my feeding tube. It's so tiny and so cute. But, yeah. My camera just took a picture of me. I didn't mean to do that. Anyways, um, so this is the last vlog from me before I end this vlog. But I want to tell you guys a little bit about my day. Um, even though you saw, like, very short clips of it. Uh, so... Yeah, this morning I got all washed up and everything, and then, um, 
went and picked up some medication for whatever is going on with me. <laughs> Pretty sure it's just a really bad mast cell flare. Um, but yeah, I picked up some medication to help with it and to help like calm my asthma symptoms because my asthma has been really bad. But um, then I went and got my feeding tube changed without sedation. I was so proud of myself, but I was so scared. I'm on the brink of having a panic attack while getting my feeding tube changed because um, I've never gotten it changed without lidocaine or sedation. Um, but this time they didn't even give lidocaine. So I wish they would have at least done that. Because one, the feeling of them touching anything like scared me so bad. Because I'm trying to like... Finally got you guys set up. I was trying to wrap my malleable... malleable tripod onto my IV pole and it was not working so I just had to pull out my big tripod um anyways so yeah I once I got my feeding tube changed never got it changed without lidocaine or sedation um and like I said I would have preferred that they at least did the lidocaine I was proud of myself that I did it without sedation though um, I have some trauma from the first time I got my feeding tube placed, and I didn't realize that. Like, I did, but I didn't. Like, every time I went to go get my feeding tube changed, I've been extremely nervous and just kind of freaking out. Um... I mean, for good reason, like, I had my bowel perforated the first time, I, my tube kinked the second time around, um, I went into anaphylactic shock the third time around, and then my tube flipped less than a week after having it, and the third time, I was totally knocked out, so, um, and afterwards, I went into high, a, Oh, gosh, I can't even think of hypo hypoglycemic episode. So yeah, I I kind of have good reason to be scared or like nervous each time, but um, I didn't realize it was as bad as it was until I went to go get it changed today, and they told me that they weren't going to use sedation or lidocaine. This time they wanted to see how I did without it and if there was any problems that were coming up or if I started to feel a lot of pain or anything that they would immediately state me. So, um, yeah, I got hooked up to the monitors and everything. They did that just as precautions and um, they did the feeding tube change and when they did the feeding tube change, like at first I was feeling a lot of movement. I don't know what was going on because I watched them like sterilize it and everything. Um, and then they were still doing something. I don't really know. But um, as soon as I felt him touching my tube, I started like breathing super fast and heavy and getting so scared. And then as soon as he started like pulling the old tube out, I started crying and I was getting so scared and the nurse was like rubbing my head and like telling me it was okay and then the, the other nurse was trying to distract me by talking to me and then like I wasn't saying anything and then I told him I don't know whenever he was asking me a question and he was like okay she doesn't want to talk to her let's just comfort her. I was like, no, 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 that's not what I'm doing. I just can't focus on your questions and like trying to soothe myself at the same time. 
and um so like he got quiet for a while and i was kind of glad he did but like at the same time i felt bad and um i mean like he, it was a little painful when he was pulling the tube out that's why i kind of wanted at least lidocaine um it burned so bad my stomach acid was just like burning extremely bad so um yeah that part was not fun or comfortable or anything but um after he pulled the tube out like when he was even putting the new tube in it didn't hurt and um it all felt fine and yeah then they filled up the balloon and it was done and i was so relieved when it was done but um yeah also since they didn't sedate me i got to go and like work afterwards so that was fun and um i did my nails but they're like super messed up because i can never do nails i always mess them up but um i'll show you guys what my new tube looks like the new tube looks like i don't know like how well you guys can see that this is what it looks like attached to um my feeding bag but i don't think i ever showed you guys my other button because like it only lasted about a week but or less than that actually but i can put it on pause and then what am i trying to do and then this comes undone and then obviously this comes off and this comes off and when those are off i have like a pretty normal looking stomach and i don't have like a super heavy dangly tube so yeah it's been nice i forget how this goes in there and it's got a little port for my meds the G portion of the tube attaches in the same way. So for like when I'm draining my stomach, then I connect to that one. And you guys cannot see my face because I cannot figure out my own tripod. Anyways, so yeah, that's the new tube. Um, it's nice. And no complications so far. Knock on wood. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm sorry I have not been vlogging a lot. Like I said, there's not been a much. I cannot speak. There's not been much going on. Um. So yeah. Oh, and by the way. Uh, something else I forgot to update you guys on. So tonight I received a formula delivery and they sent me pediatric formula. It wouldn't be such a big deal because the calories are the same. It's the same exact brand, the same exact type of formula. It's just pediatric. So, um, yeah, I don't know what that means nutritional wise, but um like allergen wise and um calorie wise like i'm getting everything i need the only problem is like i would be fine with it if i had that for like a month maybe whatever but the bottles are only like eight point something ounces and my other bottles were like over 11 so yeah it's not gonna be enough formula to last me through the month and they don't take formula back so i'm stuck with a whole load of pediatric peptide formula maybe they can just send me some extra formulas 
to make up for the difference. I don't know. But yeah, that's what happened. That's what's going on right now. Um Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Uh if you're not yet subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love y'all. Bye.